joke, so I'm going to use it as if it's my own. <laughs> Paul Allen, that guy so old that when he got here, his tech ID was a one. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank the staff and the Athletics Communications Office for the time and effort it took to put this awards together. This marking its 25th year. This year we are honoring the class of 2011, which automatically makes it the best awards yet. <laughs> this brings me to why we're all here. Congratulations to the athletes being honored here today. Each one of us knows the type of dedication it takes to be both a successful student and competitive athlete. So from one athlete happy to ditch the student part of that equation, congrats. <laughs> the main reason we are recipients of this award, besides to pump our tires about our own achievements, is because of the endless support we have been given. So thank you to the parents, family, friends, administration, professors, trainers, staff, coaches, and everyone associated with Maverick Athletics. A big thank you. From Tommy and the boys at lifting, to each and every coach, to the administration supporting the team, and yes, even my fellow Canadian, Paul Allen, <laughs> thank you. Today I wanted to share a little story about myself with everyone, and hopefully other athletes can see similarities in my story as with their own. And ultimately, I hope I can show everyone what it means when you become an average student athlete, but more importantly, the pride one will always have in saying they have once, and now always will be, a maverick. When going to school, you hear it from everyone. The next four years will be the best years of your life. I can personally say that yes indeed, they have been amazing and unforgettable four years. I have scored goals in front of thousands of fans in the best college league in the country, and I have gained friendships that will last the rest of my life. And I've had moments and times that definitely cannot be talked about today. <laughs> but I am now in a position to make the future years of my life the best ones. When I arrived at Mankato, I saw myself as a lone wolf. <laughs> <laughs> According to MapQuest, I was 1,260 miles from home and approximately a 21-hour car trip. Leaving Mankato, I am now part of a wolf pack. <laughs> I have a new immediate family with my fiance Ashley, and our yellow lab named Maverick. <laughs> That's from Top Gun, by the way. <laughs> and one day, a left wing, a centerman, and a right wing. A first line of Gagliardi's that will come to MSU and win many championships and awards. And I now have my large Maverick family. A new home that I will always look back at with fond memories, and a home I can always come back to. Every staff member's job here is to help you in any way possible, and give you any support they can possibly give you, to give you a better opportunity, and to help you chase your dreams. And we all received that support, and it wasn't the minimum. At MSU, we had the best resources, and the best individuals to help us accomplish our goals. And that is something that other athletes at other schools can't always say. So again, congratulations to every other athlete here, and I wish everyone the best of luck in the future. And thank, thank you, MSU, coming here um, was the best decision I could have made, and it will have a huge impact on the rest of all our lives. I will end on a challenge to every other athlete here. I challenge you to make the following years of your life your best ones. <laughs>